What makes families strong? We asked youth, parents, and other adults from around the United States to tell us about the strengths they have experienced in their own families. They remind us that all kinds of families in all kinds of places have strengths. Those strengths and others like them make us who we are and who we're becoming. These are their stories. Family is very complex when it comes to showing love. You know, when my mother hug and kiss me and tell me, Tristan, I'm proud of you, my father say, good job. So, you know, my mother might be in the kitchen crying and my daddy might be still sitting at the table saying, good job. You know, so it's a very different experience that you expect from any ordinary teen to experience with love in their family. But one thing that my mom does do is she'll, occasionally she'll put like little, like a shirt that she found at a store when she was shopping and she'll put, it, it's an I love you present. I'm, my wife and I, Monica, are really, really very fortunate uh, that all of our adult kids and their partners have returned to the Twin Cities. A couple of years ago, they were spread all over the world, one in South America, one in Boston, one in California, and now they all live in the same zip code as we do. And when, as they started to come back, I said to our kids, uh, and it just occurred to me one day, I said, you know, I cook Sunday dinner. I want you to know you're always welcome for Sunday dinner. The only thing I ask is that you call and let me know if you're coming. I'd say three out of four Sundays. They're all there with the kids, with the grandkids, and it's chaotic, it's noisy. Um, sometimes the babies are screaming, but it's, it's a time that is such a treasure. My dad, one of the things he said was, the world is going to be a better place because you are in it. I didn't know what he meant by that. I'm not sure he knew what he meant by that, but I do know that Having that message in my head always made me want to live up to that expectation of his. You know, he knows his mom, his dad, his grandma, his grandpa. You know, these are the people that you see every Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter, all the holidays, graduations. But I wanted him to know that uh, family really extended much further. I took him to people that we had no blood relationship with at all, people that weren't even our same color. I wanted him to understand that uh, community you know, there's family that's close to you by blood, then there's family that choose to be close by you because they care. And that is what community is. Community to me represents the family that chooses to be close by you. And I wanted him to meet those people, those people that made a choice to be involved in my life. Because I wanted him to understand that at some point in his life, he would have to make that choice himself. Too often, we only hear about family's problems. Yes, families struggle. But that is only part of the story. Families, in all their rich diversity, backgrounds, shapes, and sizes, have lasting strengths. 